actually how do you actually pronounce it? F Privatai? What is it? Prasnutsii. Prasnutsii, yeah. Um, they always come up with the the fun the funkiest names for these um, <laughs> yeah. you know, bacteria. Yeah, yeah. What makes you what makes you I mean, perceive it as a hero in the gut? Like what makes it special and unique in your eyes? So I actually have a video on this bug and it's one of my most popular videos. So if you look at, and again, I've been through thousands of papers. If you look at the healthy controls versus those with a condition, whether it's dementia, Parkinson's, depression, the list goes on, Crohn's, also colitis, you name it, you know, C. diff, et cetera. F. prasnitsii is always or almost always significantly higher in the healthy controls as compared to those with the afflicted condition. So that's not an anomaly, okay? That's just a statistical fact. So what else is going on? Okay, well, it produces butyrate, incredibly beneficial. It also increased the production of interleukin-10, which is a anti-inflammatory interleukin. So it has a number of different qualities to it. It has anti-inflammatory compounds, et cetera. It is, again, the probably the primary butyrate producer uh, within the gut, but there are plenty of others that are, that are cousins of it as well. Um, so these are just some of the features it brings to the table. But again, it's if you look at the data, species from Roseburia, it's the same profile. Species from Carpococcus, it's the same thing. They are significantly higher in the healthy controls as compared to those with an afflicted condition. They're all butyrate producers. They're all sensitive to antibiotics. They're all sensitive to oxygen, right? And they all like the same prebiotics. They all like the locked up sugars, what we come to call prebiotics, from things like inulin and pectin and arabinoxylans, they don't consume protein. So if you're carnivore, you know, those guys are like, wait a second, like, They're I don't, up. This, this isn't my fuel. I hate this crap. Like, you know, this, I, I can't ferment this. They ferment those locked up sugars that we cannot access, but the microbiome can. Super fascinating. You 